Okay, sir. Hello, good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining today's webinar. Today we have scheduled webinar on soft skills, a core skill, which has been organized by Applied Science and Humanities Department of Parul Polytechnic Institute, Parul University. I, Vaishali Nathwani, would like to introduce today's guest speaker, an international speaker, Toastmaster Communication and Leadership Coach, Soft Skill Trainer, Global Motivational and Keynote Speaker, Dr. Supriya Kumaravelan. She is a training professional with over 16 plus years of rich global experience in setting up, leading and managing end-to-end -end learning and organization development management. She brings extensive experience in building programs for the leadership development pipeline based on business plans and has the expertise in providing blended learning solutions. Her facilitation and delivery capabilities include corporate and NLDP programs, gamification, career development, mentoring, coaching, communication, presentation, performance mentoring, coaching, and enhancement. She has been awarded as the best soft skill trainer and keynote speaker by Corporate Guru World Summit and Awards. She has also been received the best world speaker award and best humanity award by Macedonian Association. She has also been awarded as the best judge panelist during her various uh, programs as a judge. So it's a privilege to welcome you here, ma'am, on this platform. Thank you so much. And a very good morning and a happy morning from India. Let me sh have the privilege to share my screen. Yeah, yeah hope my screen is visible. Yes, ma'am. So okay. first of all, I will say, Heartly gratitude from the bottom core of my heart to uh, Mr. Hamil Patel and Mrs. Vaishali Natwani, Department of Applied Sciences and Humanities, that is Parul Polytechnic Institute, Parul University, for giving me this beautiful and golden opportunity to express my knowledge and share with everyone present over here and to the lovely audience who is watching. And the topic is soft skill, a core skill. So thanks once again. And let's begin our journey. Okay, one question when we were in college and to the students who are in college today, what I am going to become? What will be the career opportunities for me? Will I get my dream job? Will I be succeeding in my life? And will I be fulfilling all the parents' expectations, your mentors' expectations? And so many questions will be popping in your mind what technology, which field, what career opportunities, and how to succeed and to get that dream job in my life. I'm sure it's everybody's question of being a student in a college or going to get some careeristic dream in their life. But there is a question of job search, how I will complete my interview, how will I do my talent acquisition, who will be helping in my uh, resume, what should be the application, and how will I dart forward in my life? Because there is a cutthroat competition where for one one percentage you will lose or either you will gain that. And for that number one thing, I will say only one thing, your soft skills 
which makes you different from others. And this I am not saying just being a soft skill trainer, but being the data that has been collected or that has been observed and which says, and I'm not going to read that, it is visible and accessible to everyone where 92% of executives says that soft skills are equally or important or more important than technical skills. And it's just like a you know, tug of war, you can say, soft skills, technical skills, or hard skills. So you have to access where you can be different from anyone and you can get the desired dream job with your efforts, with your hard work, with your perseverance. And the one most beautiful trait you can say that is your soft skill. All right, so this is just the data or you can say the past year's data which is visible in front of you where they say soft skill occupy a very, very important position in your career and making you different in getting your dream job. And again, if I will show you again another data that is 30% soft skills, 62% went for soft and hard skills and 8% only went for hard skills. Then that is not wrong to say there 92% soft skill matter as much more than hard skill. For example, I will quote one example. How much you are qualified, how much you are having a sound knowledge of your subject matter, how much you are curious, how much you're intelligent. But if you don't know to express your intelligency, through your communication, through your presentation skills, it has no value. And that's what happens in your interview face-to-face -face when you start your journey from campus to corporate life. And that's where some people get clear and some people won't get. And that is the benchmark parameter you can say where we should know. All right. So this is the most important career success which every student must know about their technical strength, hard work, success. And in the mid, you can say the center point is your soft skill. So my emphasis is on soft skill, soft skill, soft skill. All right. So we talked about the importance of soft skill, but what actually it is, if I talk about in a layman language, well, this is just, you can say the definition, but in general, what we understand from a student point, from a student perspective, and I will say only one thing, it's all about your social skills, your people skills. And the best thing I can say, you should be presentable to the world. You should be presentable to your interview and you should be a good communicator enough to express your views. What do you think? What are your technical skills? What are your hard skills? And that should be explained by your communication, your presentation, and the most important thing, how do you think in a matter of emotional intelligence or some social skills? And that's called interpersonal, where you communicate effectively with one another. So you can say it's all about the total sum of your creative thinking, time management, conflict management, teamwork, team building. And it's a huge, huge subject and every department. 
trust me, whatever I'm saying, it's every department or every matter you can say does matter. So you cannot say only being a good team player is a matter of a meaning of soft skill or I'm a good time management. I can manage my time very well. No. All these qualities, all these traits should be balanced and should be known to you by hard hearted. And that's make you a perfect soft skill person where you can utilize, leverage it and become the master in your life. All right. Suppose if I call any student or uh, for any interview, or I call you for just giving this presentation, what happens actually? How much good subject you're holding, how much good knowledge you're holding. But when you go to stage, or you can say offline when you open your camera, you start shiver, or you feel nervous. You don't know what to speak. You have all the knowledge over here, but when the time comes to speak, you shake, you lose confidence. And that is the point, that is the necessity where soft skill plays a damn important role in your life. So here we can say, this is the prerequisite important in enhancing your career and why it is a core skill. Now, some people get confused what is hard skill and what is a soft skill. So the basic difference, I'm not going to read all this. So the basic difference I am telling you, hard skills is a quantifiable and soft skill is a non-quantifiable. You can uh, you cannot uh, feel the presence of a soft skill, but if you miss it, you will miss a big, big deal. And if I talk about hard skill, it's all about your technical things, your machine operations, or accounting, degrees, certificates, or the language of the knowledge. But soft skill is different. Communication skills, your uh, self-discipline, teamwork, time management, empathy, and ability to accept criticism, and also about your critical thinking. So never ever get confused with your hard skills and soft skills. So try to balance these all these things. And if you have the good hard skills, again, I will say, again, I will emphasize, but don't have a good soft skill to a showcase, then it's of no more. So here you can see the importance of soft skill and how important it is to being as a student where I talk about you all. Try to get it, try to develop at this age. So you should not miss any golden opportunity in your life, which is waiting for you. Now, this is also one of the uh, favorite area you can say where I love to teach what are the importance. First thing which I say, it is enhancing and making your professional life beautiful. Not only clearing, helping you to go to your dream job, but also making when you are boarded on a corporate culture, where you should know how to talk to your peers, how to talk to your boss, and how to take your journey as a professional. So here you can see how important it is. Of course, when you're a confident person, you're a motivated person, it doesn't affect you, but also affect your environment, the people you're working, the people you are working with, it affects your area. That is called circle. And of course, as I said, 
making your interpersonal relationships when you don't know how to talk it is of no use keeping a huge bundle of knowledge that's a utter waste and if you call yourself a professional and if you don't know how to make a correct decision in your life then it is of no no use you should know how to talk how to be smart because this is the world of cut throat competition it is not like a uh, plate is served to you after you clear your college you have to struggle hard you have to prove yourself and for proving yourself we require certain qualities and of course it gives you a good impression again professional development and people love to talk to you and company will hire you because every organization needs not a hard working employee but a smart working employee who is a multitasker who can communicate who can have a team building qualities critical thinking who knows how to solve the issues conflict management and who is having a leadership quality so now you can say how important it is and how important not being as a student but also when you are going to shape your career if you think from you can say a single point of view there are a lot of things which you can say high demand by recruiters organizations and career progression promotion and growth that that's all there but also it's important for your business that's improve your productivity so soft skill is not only for a student or for a corporate but i must say it is for everyone whether you are a single person or you are as a working professional or your business or you are a corporate person and even though a person should know how to communicate and that is the most important part of any soft skill so soft skill is everywhere and you can be judged and look you in by these four traits now you talked about soft skill why it is important how it is important but you do have different types of soft skills and each soft skill has different value in its own place we can't say this is less or that is less or this we can avoid in life and this we can no soft skill it is a bundle it is the sum total which enhances your personality now let me talk about communication as we all know communication is a very very important part of any soft skill when you don't know how to communicate how to keep your suggestions or how to present it's 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 again i will say it's of no use whether you are in college or you are in your corporate level your team work plays a very important role which is the second one when you want to work solely what is the productivity rate and when you work in a team work in a very systematic manner and you mix with the people easily and take the leadership in your hand that is a different thing which we can say make you unique your problem solving how do you take up the problems how do you perceive the things that makes you unique and that makes you a good problem solver in every aspect of life not only in your profession but also your personal and time management if i say time is money time is everything and the people who respect time time will also respect you so you should know how to manage your time what priorities you should give to your work and that you have to decide your lifestyle your work schedule one day before 
if you see uh, any software skill or you can see any successful person, they will always manage their time effectively. What are my priorities? What work I have to do at this time? So time management, it, it is a, I must say, it is a gem and don't lose it. Your critical thinking, everybody is having a, you know, different types of thinking, but how do you think, how do you manage? That's depend on you and that's make you rather than break you. And of course your decision making, how to make the decision at that particular time and with that particular problem also makes you a key player. And stress management, which I will say, stress we will find everywhere, anywhere. But how do you take stress? How do you manage stress? How do you manage your emotions? That is the point which you can do with your soft skill. Stress can be taken in the form of anxiety and stress can be taken in the form of an opportunity. And in every opportunity, in every challenge, you can say there is an opportunity hidden. So it's a way of perception and that can be done with the help of your soft skill key area. Adaptability, your flexibility to change to accept any change or have you seen some people they can't be uh, you know adaptable to the situation when you go to any big uh, conference or big uh, organization they can't change and that is not the solution you have to fix yourself to the particular environment and move forward and look at your traits of course conflict management which we talk about Everybody have some conflict, sometimes to their peers, sometimes their bosses, but we can't show our conflict over there because it's going to affect only your form, your image. And that is the part of the conflict management. If I talk about leadership, leadership is not only pushing the people, but you should inspire the people. And that is the basic difference in a leadership where people get confused. What is leadership? Showing your bossy attitude is not a leadership. Your creativity, your passion, and of course your persuasion to persuade any person to look to your thoughts, to match with your thoughts and take the journey of soft skill and professionalism forward. Now, how to improve my soft skills? Some people can say, are these inborn qualities or a God gifted? And if anybody wants to improve what he or she shall do, I will say uh, only one thing. The number one, which is embrace feedback. When any person like your mentor, a teacher, anybody is giving you any feedback and that is not acceptable to you. First thing is try to accept it. Try to know your gaps, where you are lacking in your life, in your speech. What are the gaps in you, in your personality? And once you know, you should know how to correct it. Similarly, I will give you an example. If a doctor diagnoses you properly, then only he or she can give you the best medicine and to cure your disease. But when you don't know your acceptance, when you don't know how to accept your criticism or your feedback, you can't improve. And you should not take failure as a fail. But see, it's an opportunity to learn something from your mistakes. So embrace the feedback in a positive reaction. Communicate regularly. Uh, people say sometimes how to improve English, how to improve their communication. 
And the only mantra I gave was, communicate, speak, speak, speak. Either you speak to yourself in the mirror if nobody is not ready to listen. But that should be consistency. And that is the best thing to improve. Of course, build strong relationships. Networking plays an important role in improving your soft skills. And people should leave their comfort zone. And they should come out of their fear zone and embrace the success with warming, welcoming hands. Always be ready to learn, I will say. Be adaptable and flexible. And if you are not able to learn it, then you can hire your coach, your mentor, or a trainer. But learn, learn, learn. One time you will fail, two times you will fail. But keep rocking and keep going. That is the only mantra I can give it over here. And never give up on your dreams, which is not written over here, but still I would like to share with you all. Uh, here I would like to say one thing. Generally, everyone who is in the comfort zone, when they come out from this zone, they feel fear. But once you face this fear zone, that starts to learning, your own learning. And this is the point of the zone where you will deal with the challenges, where you deal with the problems. This is a little bit your struggle zone. But in actual, it's an acquiring new skills. And that is, it is preparing you for growth zone. And one zone I haven't discussed, that is your success zone. So please, please, please come out of your comfort zone, face your fear zone, learn, learn, unlearn, and relearn. And then definitely there will be a growth in your personality. And when you are a person who is successful, then I'm sure you are going to make your ambience positive and successful organization too. This is where we all are. We all are lost in this crowd. We are a common people, common person. But what is the trait which makes us this? That is, inspire, inspire before you expire. Get the qualities which makes you unique from this crowd. Be the master of your own destiny and prove yourself because we got this beautiful life only once and we have to prove our dreams, our success, and of course, we have to achieve our targets. And that is when you will develop good traits, be different because winners don't do different things, they do things different. And I will say only one thing, if I am thanking you all for listening to me, watching this presentation, technical skills may get you the job. I repeat, technical skills may get you the job, but soft skill can make or break you as a manager. So make yourself, rather than break yourself, learn the traits, learn the qualities, not as a student, but as a professional, because that's what is your dream and that's what you're going to do. So once again, thank you so much. And uh, I will, once again, I will thanks Mr. Hamer, Paro University for of giving me this golden, golden opportunity. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, ma'am, for this beautiful presentation. Uh, so there are one or two questions from our and ma'am. So um, how, uh, what are the barriers in uh, communication according okay. to you? If I open the book, there are lots of barriers. You know, this is a PPT on barriers of communication. But if I talk general barriers in communication, which I think first in a person is they're losing confidence. 
and when a person is not able to express himself in a language that is english language that loses the confidence some people say we know the english but there are lot of fillers uh okay yes okay gaps confidence and you can say your way of not expressing that is the general barrier i am talking about if you are thinking a barrier when you talk to someone and if i am on phone and if i say okay okay i will i will take it that is the general barrier and we can say a practical barrier and uh, if you open the book or the ppt you can find lot of barriers where one to one people are not attending yours and you are not concentrated so remove the barriers only by the one thing practice practice and that's make you perfect yes yes so my next question was with that only that um, how we can overcome communication challenges you talked about practice right but uh, any other options uh, yes points yes. to be taken care yeah uh first thing uh, what happens generally with the students if i talk about they don't know where to go what to do and we should go to this coaching that coaching what we should write but any coaching any coach can guide you but the thing is you have to develop so my only one thing is start watching the youtube videos where well, because there are lots of videos on effective communication your speaking qualities and what you do follow that as a practice i can either you can call your parents or siblings or do a practice and if anybody is not ready then mirror even in zoom you can showcase yourself you can see the selfie instead of using selfie in a waste of thing use a selfie show your uh, watch your body language and practice it if you are gonna write you are going to write on a book take one para start practicing check your pronunciation and i will say only one thing in the oxford dictionary when you don't know how to pronounce some words it is in the net you can check it and if you start exploring internet you will find everything and every matter is there in that so keep practicing keep reading newspapers books watch videos and the most important thing is you have to speak whether you are a basic language learner or a girl's top one but speak 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 that's the only mantra yeah yes that's true madam that's the only mantra that we have to speak and uh, yes you talked very true that uh, we should talk uh, uh, in front of mirror or uh, selfie that will uh, make confidence in ourselves yeah yeah <laughs> i have practiced that only <laughs> yes so uh, next one is um, sometimes uh, when the students uh, are sitting in the placement madam and the first question uh, that has been asked that uh, introduce yourself right so what according to you what points should be included uh, at that uh, phase by the yes. students very very good question and i would love to answer when anybody is asking introduce yourself what is the motive behind it's not about to know about you rather than to check your presentability to check your communication skills and to check what you feel about yourself and in this 5 minute of question they can either uh, promote you for the second round and they will know whether i should hire this person or not so being as a student and sitting in the placement since you haven't done any job tell about you yourself little bit of your family to a background your hobbies and that hobbies is not reading comics or something but it should be included in your project or a internet lover or, or watching uh, uh, the things which impresses themselves as a student and the thing is you should include your projects in that because you don't have any experience of your job but you have the experience of your project highlight that project and you can conclude it by in a simple story don't drag it since you are a key learner that's it fine
So our next question is, we have uh, received from some students. Yeah. How do you uh, prioritize your task when you have multiple deadlines to meet? All right. And I think uh, this is uh, my question. <laughs> well, if I give my example, I have multiple deadlines for the projects, for the assignment. So I am telling you my mantra, which I would love to share with on this platform. Leave your mobiles. This is just a gadget and I love to write it. Take your diary, take a pen, prioritize it, which you have to give it first, which is your top priority. Start working on that and never waste a single moment of your time. When you make it, you will get from this thing a little bit confidence for your next task. Now, for this I have this prioritized, so I will finish it in this matter of time. And this is my next chapter, which I'm going to finish it after a couple of hours. Like this, make a timetable. You can say a to-do list. 25 is my seminar, so 24th, I'm not going to work on that. I have to work one week before. If 28, it is should be 22, like that. Keep an eye on each and every day, each and every date, and how you have to work. Chop out the plan. And my plan is chop out in a systematic manner. Because some people, what they will do at the end, they will have all the compiler and they get stressed. But if you will utilize your time, utilize each and every second, I don't think so that you are going to get that stress load at the end of the day which happens with everyone and you know then you will say oh my god how will i do this how will i do that blah 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 but it's the chaos you have produced for yourself when you will not believe in systematic prioritization of your work whether it's a single deadline or multiple deadlines that you have to decide yes yes absolutely right ma'am <laughs> So, uh, what is the most significant problem that you have solved during your workplace? Uh, pardon this question? Uh, what is the most significant problem that you have solved uh, during your workplace point? Okay, my workplace point, the problem which I have solved. I think problem if I see there are numerous problems, hell number of problems, but the problems which I have solved is to motivate the people, to guide the people, wiping their tears and bringing the smile, being as a motivational speaker. And I think that is not the problem. That is the place where you make the people happy, positive, and making them ahead go in their life. And that I will say, yes, I have solved that problem in a positive approach, but not taking it as a problem as an opportunity. Yes, yes, so it's a way of thinking, right? We should not be negative. <laughs> yes, we should exactly. be positive and move on. Yes. Uh, last one, ma'am. Uh, so, uh, when we are overloaded, overloaded with our work, uh, fine, then how can we handle it? Okay. So Good that question. we cannot be in uh, stress or pressure. <laughs> First of all, I will say only one thing. I will give an, again my example. If I get a lot of pressure, a lot of work, I will think only from this point of view that this pressure is either will make me or break me. So what option I would like to choose? Yes, it's going to make me. Now, what is the pressure? The pressure is to complete this task within this given of time. I will do this because it has given me a lot of pressure but it's an experience. Experience are the best teachers. It is giving me a new way of solving this problem as an opportunity. And I will never think anything as a work pressure. And sometimes involve yourself in yoga, in morning walk, try to wake up in the morning. Listen to the chirping of birds, feel the beauty of nature. You will never come under pressure. This is my own experience. And even though if you feel pressure, listen music that is the 
uh, or you can do your hobbies, your dance, listening, watching, reading. You can't come under pressure. Never, ever. Yes. Uh, so I think we would end here with the session, ma'am. <laughs> and I love answering questions. You can ask full day. I'm ready to hear. Okay. <laughs> but I don't have questions right now, ma'am. <laughs> I've ended with my questions. <laughs> okay. Yes, okay. but it was very nice listening to you, ma'am. And uh, surely this session would help. Uh, in positive way to our students as well as faculty during uh, for working on time management or communication skill it will uh, surely help uh, to us ma'am so thank, thank you, so, you much. so much for joining with us today and giving us your valuable time thank along you. with that uh, i will also like to thank uh, the hod of our uh, department mr hamel patel sir the hr of our institute uh, dr jatin waiter sir and the president of our university Dr. Devanshu Patel sir for motivating and supporting us continuously for conducting this webinar. Thank you so much, ma'am. Bye. Yeah. Bye.